guys, welcome back to the video, Fusion Life. Ah. Lads, welcome back to Fusion YGO. Today, we choose violence. Today, we choose to vanquish our enemies. Today, we choose vanquish soul. Let's get into it. Also, no nerds were harmed in the making of this video. Lads, preparing to vanquish some souls, let's get into the deck profile of Vanquish Soul today. We're gonna zoom this in a smidge here, that's the wrong way. So let's dive right into it. So today, I have redone Vanquish Soul from the last time, you probably saw it on this channel. Let's get into it. So we're gonna start with the Vanquish Soul package, we're playing three copies of Raisin. It searches uh, any Vanquish Soul card, any Vanquish Soul monster from your deck to your hand on summon. Uh, we're playing two copies of Jow Long. Any more than that, I honestly find it, it just gets bricky. Reveal two fires, add a Vanquish Soul monster from your deck, any Vanquish Soul card from your deck to your hand. Um, and it's able to special summon itself when a monster is revealed to activate an effect. Two copies of Borger. This one can burn for showing an earth and a fire and a dark lets you draw a card. Uh, for the next two big ones, which is Borger and Valius, you can target a Vanquish Soul monster on the field, bounce it to hand and summon it out. So it lets you play around things like infinite and permanence and the like. Uh, two copies of Dr. Mad Love. Dr. Mad Love allows you to add a spell trap from deck to hand for any Vanquish Soul. By revealing a dark, you're able to, one face up monster your opponent control loses 500 attack and defense. And then dark and an earth, uh, one monster with the lowest defense on the field is returned to the hand and it's your choice if it's tied. Two copies of Caesar Valius. Uh, Caesar is the untargeting pop by revealing an earth, fire, and dark and by having an Earth, it becomes unaffected. One copy of Pantera. Uh, Pantera is uh, a special summon when you control no monsters in the main monster zone, and then if you reveal an Earth, it can't be destroyed by battle this turn, and an Earth and a Fire destroys all spell and traps in this card's column. So where you summon it can matter, uh, and Raisin will destroy monsters in the same column by revealing a Fire and a Dark. We're also playing three copies of Stake Your Soul. It is the emergency teleport of the archetype. It isn't searchable, off of like Dr. Mad Love or anything, which is kind of silly, but it is a really powerful card. Reveal one, you get to summon, reveal an Earth, a Fire, or a Dark, summon a uh, Vanquish Soul monster with a different name. So, really good. Uh, Vanquish Soul continue, quick play, Monster Reborn. Dust Devil, it doesn't target the monsters, it flips face down, but it's like a Book of Eclipse that doesn't get ashed. And one copy of Vanquish Soul Snow Devil. This card is another time card, so you've got Borger that can win you in time, and then this card that can win you in time. It burns for in sequence, so you can reveal an Earth of Fire and a Dark, uh, and for each one, so if you reveal just one, you inflict 400 damage to your opponent, special summon a Vanquish Soul monster from your hand. With two, you do the first effect, and then you also get to inflict another six, and Vanquish Soul monsters can't be destroyed by card effects this turn. And if you reveal all three, you'll burn, you'll do the first two effects, and then you'll do the this third one, inflict 800 points of damage, and then it destroys all monsters on the field. So, the sequencing is super powerful. Being able to nuke the field off of a searchable trap is insane, and it's, it's just really strong. And this deck gains so much advantage, it's crazy, honestly. Next up is the hand traps. So, it's a really large package of hand traps, uh, but one of the things you're gonna notice about the deck is that we are playing just fire, dark, and earth monsters. So we're playing three copies of Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. It's Ash, it's the best hand trap of the format. One of the strongest hand traps in this deck is Dimension Shifter, because you can activate it during the end phase of your turn. If you open Raisin, you can get a free search, use uh, an extra deck card to add it back to hand, then D Shifter and pass, and that's just putting your opponent in a really bad spot. Uh, three copies of DD Crow. To banish cards out of the graveyard, it can be really good at sniping. Um, this can be really good in the Fire King matchup. Uh, during their end phase, you can just go get rid of Barong, and now it doesn't trigger. Get rid of Ponix, now it doesn't add, whatever. Uh, so this card is just hyper impactful. And then three copies of Infinite and Permanence, because it's one of the best hand traps in the format. Finally is uh, our board breakers and our, our extra two cards. So we're playing three copies of Kashtir of Fenrir. And obviously we're gonna play the one Rise Heart, because it's a searchable fire, which matters. 
But Fenrir is super powerful in any format, so having access to it is really, really useful. Playing off of the board breakers, we're also playing two Kurikara. Kurikara Div Incarnate. It's just really strong, and it's a fire, so it plays double duty, which is super helpful for things like Stake Your Soul. And then we're also playing two copies of Dino Wrestler Pankratops. Yep, we're playing Pank in the main because it's an Earth, so it's never a dead card. If they break your board, you have a way to recover and play through, and it's big, so that's always nice. Finally, we're playing one copy of Durendal and one copy of Rhoda. It's just literally to get to Raisin, that's the whole point of the deck, is to get to ro uh, Raisin as quickly as possible. Okay, so that's gonna do it for the main deck. Let's go into this extra deck and the side deck. So the extra deck, we are playing three copies of Rock of the Vanquisher. You can absolutely cut one of this if you wished for like Hida or something like that. And Hida is gonna be really strong in the coming up format. So uh, this should be Hida, because you can make it really easily, but Two Rock and a Hita. Uh, rock is the lifeblood of Vanquish Soul, but you only need it really at two. You'll never go through three. Uh, so, Dark, one Nightmare Phoenix, back row hate. One Black Luster Soldier, Soldier of Chaos. This sounds weird, this looks weird. This card is actually super easy to make, and you can make it with like Keshdir or Fenrir, or Pankratops, or Valius, or whatever. And being able to make this in certain simplified game states, this card just wins you games. And against a lot of rogue decks, there's not a lot of rogue decks that can deal with a card like this that's unaffected. So having access to it, I think in a deck, extra deck where it's not super tight is really, really useful. We are also playing an Underworld Goddess. This is just to deal with big unaffected idiots. Then we're playing one copy of Abyss Dweller. This is just to prevent graveyard effects. One copy of Baguska to be a general nuisance. One copy of King Dempsey to search out Raisin. Yes, there's more ways to search Raisin. Uh, and then we're also playing the Zodiac Chalkanine and Borbo, uh, just to basically get into Zeus, you knew this. Uh, one copy of Flare Metal, charging people life points. You've got a bunch of sevens in Borger, Fenrir, and Pank, so you can actually make this pretty efficiently. And lastly is Zeus and Typhon. They're incredibly powerful cards, and being able to have answers to pretty much everything in the extra deck is so impactful. It's insanely useful, so that does it for the extra deck. The side deck is a little different. So we are playing three copies of Droll and Lockbird because we wanna have access to a way to stop our opponent from being able to play the game. And it's between this and Nibiru for this spot. Um, I like Droll in this deck because I can play around it, but Nibiru is equally as good. Uh, we're playing two Lightning Storm and a Feather Duster. Uh, this deck can struggle against back row decks, which is why we're also playing three copies of Cosmic Cyclone. You just wanna be able to deal with back row decks and having a lot of answers is really useful. Uh, then we're playing three copies of Dimensional Barrier. This card is a just a win card. It can turn off entire decks. So having access to a D barrier in a deck where you don't care what they D barrier is really, really nice. And finally is three copies of Anti-Spell Fragrance. Anti-Spell Fragrance doesn't negatively impact you at all, but there's a lot of decks that this card just kills. And having access to win cards is very strong, so. But lads, that's gonna do it for the Vanquished Soul deck profile. If you enjoyed, please leave a like, comment, let us know what you think in the comment section down below. Smash the subscribe button, hit the notabell, all that good stuff. And until next time, lads, good fun, have luck. <laughs>